Today we're going to work with tints and eventually shades with paint. And a tint is where you take any color and you add white to it. And what we're going to use is blue because we looked at the book Owl Moon and there were a lot of blues in the sky. You get a square piece of paper. Every person will have their own mixing lid today and brush. No water is needed. You need to write your name and your class on your paper and flip it over. Your mission, somewhere up high, we're going to start with a circle and we want the circle to be just white. Now, since the circle is just white, that's the white of the paper. So I'm going to take a teeny bit of blue, put it in the white and stir the white up. So you will have a very light blue. Did I mix both colors totally together? No, I just put a little bit of blue in the white, stir it completely till the white is pretty well gone. And then paint your circle. You wanna pull the brush. Don't shove it sideways. And that'll give you a much cleaner line. Okay, we've got a first circle done. Take a little more blue. Put it in your light blue. Stir completely, and it should get a little bit darker. So our mission is to get a little bit darker every time. Paint another ring. Make sure it's touching your first. You don't want to leave any gaps between your rings as we paint because you can't go back and fix them. Your paint will not be the same color once you mix it. Yes, you'll probably have to get a little on the table. That's all right, we will wash it later like we always do. And repeat, a little more blue. Stir it completely. Make sure it's a little darker than the last time. So you can always do a little test patch on here and paint another ring. And this will repeat until this color is as dark as this one. When you're to the point that they're pretty well equal, then you should have one row that is the hue. This would be the true unmixed color. So they slowly get darker and darker until they are the same blue that you started with. So there's my original blue hue. And when you get that far, then you stop with your tints. Yes, there's paper left over because the rest of it will become shades.